Vincenzo's Go Crypto Investing. This is another coin update. And uh, this brief update is going to be on uh, Raven, ZK2, DAB, DIVI, and Nord. As my beautiful subscriber has donated uh, generously and most appreciated to the channel in support of the station and requested on a daily update if possible. For the most part, they are daily updates. Every now and then in a travel day, I just can't get to the update. But I make it a... A daily thing for my man because that's what he's requested a valuable subscriber and a loyal subscriber and a supporter of the channel came up with the coins he rotates and I go with what he wants until he requests a change in coins and he came up with the price that he thought was a fair uh, generous donation to the channel and I do them daily updates on where I believe the market is going on uh, buy and sell areas uh, accumulating for long-term holding zones or possible swing trade zones and right now we're gonna look at Ravencoin and yes I got a generous donation for Derek G I believe was the my man that donated for a housing market update I'm getting some slides together after this to do a nice little housing update for you but I want to put some time into it so I'm not not doing it right as you requested it but it's not like a, uh, a coin update to where it's time sensitive so I'm going to try to get a few slides together to illustrate what's going on in the housing market to uh, give you a good understanding on it. But real quick with these coins, and then I'll do another update to give you the overall market. But what we see here right now, and this is going to be holding true for every coin out there. They're all in a similar thing. This ring down here is playing significant. So I want to bring this more into the forefront, right? So what I need to happen here is we need to unlock it. Then I need to go into settings right then we're on the color and we need to make this brighter we need to bring the brightness back in here come on oh that's the background we don't want the background uh, use one color make that brighter there we go get out of there then we can click on her again then we want to make these bigger because this is playing significance oh not that one this is the wrong one oops we want to make that dimmer. We want to make this one bigger. Right here, there's a sneaky line right there. We need to make this one bigger. Yeah, we got it on black. It's, oh, we got the colors out. Uh, I'll scroll down, use one color. Make this brighter. Because this is the color we're using up here. Bam. Okay, and then it comes here now. I always forget you got to do that. Then we're there. Oops. And then we're going to want to make this a little bit bigger to bring it out into the forefront because this is obviously this ring's playing huge significance. So, what I would watch out for now, as we know, we're in this falling channel and we're playing the rings, right? You broke down from the ring up here at 0.1286. Right, and we told you if you broke down from that, your next target was this next ring down here, uh, this blue ring. We need to change the color in this because we have two rings that are the same color. So we need to go here, and we need to make that a significantly different color. So we're gonna make it uh, purple. And you can see we're holding support on this ring, but we've been playing blue ring to blue ring, right? We need to make this a brighter blue. We need a nice crisp blue. Oh yeah, look at that, that stands out. So we're going from blue ring here at 0.01286. Then we got briefly supported at this mid-ground uh, purple ring, right? At the 0.00969 level, see that? And then we broke down though, briefly after support, actually we crashed through it and then consolidated back up on the wick, but we wicked down to the next blue ring because we're telling you we're playing blue ring to blue ring. Then we got supported, got bought back up into this falling channel that's been playing within these rings and we got supported again on the purple ring right here but what I feel is going to happen now and what I'll watch out for my good man is I the follow and back test the, the descending channel white uh, support line then you break it and you double bottom again at the very least and back test now uh, your brief wick down two days ago or yesterday morning and then from there do you have enough to hold support here or do you flush down to the next green the next green ring below it at 0 0.00726 which doesn't look like a lot but that's a pretty significant fall from there 
to there that's about 10 percent and from the current rain you're at now to uh, your next support is 16 percent and then if you fail the hole that that would be a 28 26.69 percent to the next ring so that's what i would look forward to in raven coin as your possible next target i believe you're coming down for a double bottom right here at 0.007 on the blue ring and then if you fail to hold that you're coming down here to the next green ring at 0 0.0760 right so that's what we're looking at there zk tube is in a similar scenario but it's slightly different as what we were watching out for yesterday after this big fall down as we know we were in this brief rising wedge up there a rising channel and we had our support and resistance zones up here as uh, a possible your major breakdown was your uh, 64 dollars and then you broke that and then we were here and told you we were playing the step down from the 50 day to the 200 day the 100 day in blue to the 200 day in green and that's what we did and we overshot it down into the three hour time frame the 200 days right there right like if we just take here and go to the three hour time frame you can see the 200 day it's go to the four hour time frame and it's sitting on it beautifully where all the wicks were right so you can see how that played down from the 200 day at about 5260 then it hit or the 50 day then it hit the 100 day at 44 dollars and straddled it then it broke down and it's been holding beautifully supported on the 200 day where we thought it would come down to at 41 dollars in the four hour time frame and now going in the four hour time frame seems to be best suited for this if you can't hold this major area which what this could be is a big bearish consolidation right you get our beautiful lines out here and you can see we've got overhead uh, resistance and then underneath support, which is forming like a bear flag, it looks like the underneath support is actually the 200 day moving average, right? It's lining up beautifully, a couple of wick downs, a wick up, and that could be a bearish continuation pattern. And then the targeted move would be from the, the top of the flag to the bottom of the pole to the point of a breakout, right? And that would get you way down. That would bring you all the way down to the $15.96 mark. I'm not anticipating that far of a fall right now what i'm anticipating is if you break down what i would look forward to is you break underneath the 200 day and then you quickly sell off down to this underneath major major support target down here at 25 dollars 49 i would think there would be some buyers stacked there from prior long-term underneath support so that's where i would watch out for my first round of buyers and then if it fell through that then you would come down to this underneath technical target if that is indeed a bear flag up there right that's how you'd get down there if you couldn't hold this level. Now, if you're looking for the bullish case scenario is you get some buyers to come in as the market and the futures market opens today, you get some excitement, you bottom out, and then you pop over this uh, overhead resistance, hold it as support, and then you can try to trade up to this blue ring up here, right? This would be your overhead resistance in a super simple, easy way. We're gonna move this price target over here because your overhead support on a, bull, on a pump, on a bull pump, and a, a, a bull move, right? Instead of a crash down, you break out to the upside. $60.48 would be a great sell point on this overhead blue ring. That's what it's telling you there, right? Last time you ran up against it, you were getting topped out. So that's your bullish target, $60. Your bearish target, $25. As we're moving along the dab, you can see this I'm most bearish on right now. I think this from yesterday, this can be a more brief. I am the most bearish. You've asked me every now and then to give you a bullish case. What I'm most bullish and most bearish on right now, DAP, I'm more bearish than bullish because this looks like a classic uh, bear flag, right? You got your underneath support is at the same level. I like to use candle bodies, right? You come up here, it's at the same level. It's ran into it multiple times at about the 0 0.003316. And then you got sort of a slight, if we zoom on in here into the hour time frame. We have a slight de descending channel forming, right? Where you have overhead de descending re uh, overhead resistance, right? If we take a look at that right here, it's brief, but you can see it. And I am most bearish on this because the technical target out of this is way down here. And this is why we have this down here from the other day after it crashed as we were in a possible bearish continuation pattern right here, right? That's what we feel we're in right there. And this would be your technical target if it breaks down and if I am most bearish, my beautiful subscriber, and this coin is I feel this is about to break down and its next move is down before it can make any kind of pump up. And if you could get, if you make the, fulfill the move there, 
you could have a quick buyback to back test this major overhead resistance now that is acting as underneath support before the breakdown, right? So that would be a nice swing trade possible, swing trade advisory from way down here on a breakdown to the back testing overhead resistance up here and then possible upper move up here. But for right now, I'm very bearish on this and I would get out of the way of this as I feel this is about to slip down all the way down to the underneath target. So that's an easy technical analysis. And this coin's another easy one as we were in this head and shoulders topping reversal pattern up here, right? You see this right here? Let's pull out our drawing tool again real quick. We had a left shoulder, a head, see that? And then a right shoulder, you see all that? And then you had a horizontal neckline, and then you'd go from the top to the neckline for a targeted move, and then you would pull that to the point of a breakout, which was right there, and you could see the targeted move get you right down to your underneath uh, falling channel. And see that, it actually hit it beautifully. See that technical target? It hit it beautifully right there. It wicked down and hit the point zero nine eight, and that's how you do a, uh, a, a head and shoulders topping reversal pattern. You would go left shoulder, right? And these are usually four hour time frame patterns, daily time frame, and in this case, this is the hour time frame. But then you got the right shoulder, and then you find the neckline, and then to do the targeted move, you go from the top to the neckline to the point of a breakout, and that got you right down here to your underneath target. That's why we were telling you we've been bearish on this. And what I think is going to go on here now is you're going to back test your underneath support one more time over here. It's a slightly uptrending line, so you're going to hit it again, and it's going to be slightly higher. But I think you're coming down here in the short term to back test this, and then if we zoom on out. To the four hour time frame you can see this rising channel that we've been in and we had a fake out you can see we had upper resistance once twice three four right and then you hit lower support a group once a big group two another group three another group a big group four and then the big fake out right on the pump and it telegraphed the head and shoulders topping reversal pattern up there. You can see in the four hour, you can still see the left shoulder. If we zoom on in here, you, it's harder to see, but you can still see the left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder, the neck line, and the targeted move. So I think you're coming back down to back test this. But what I'd be concerned about, my beautiful subscriber, if you're in this coin or you're long term holding or you're trying to hold over swing trade, is if you break down out of this rising wedge on the retest where I think you're coming, the technical target on this is the bottom of the wedge which would be in this area down here and centered on the 0 0.06069 level, which from the major support zone, if it fails to hold it, that's a quick and swift 37% flush to fulfill the targeted move. And that would make sense as I have lower targets on this, but it's a new coin that I'm following. So I'm just kind of trying to make it simple so I don't get out ahead of myself. And then the volume indicator, Look at, see how that, why we use indicators to overlay on indicators? That lines up with where exactly we're looking at, which is the targeted move at the bottom of the channel if you break down out of this rising wedge, right? And you can see the major traded area is exactly in our green support box that we drew based on what we were looking at and the price pump and the formation after the descending volume, the up and sideways consolidation after a pump. See that? You got a pumping price right here pumping volume bullish then after pump you got a crashing volume almost to nothing down here and an up and sideways long huge consolidation that's a very bearish pattern often you'll notice a rounding top as there is up here as the buyers or the bulls are being exhausted and the sellers or the bears are taking over the market and the price is going to come down and i think indeed it is and i think this is a great underneath target if you can wait the big up and down swings that are going to happen until you get there and if you can wait to hold to down here this would be a phenomenal swing trade from a targeted buy down here to a potential sell right here on a major pump and a back test because that's what likes to happen on these and that would be a phenomenal swing trade down there from major underneath volume traded indicator support to a back test on this blue ring and the breakdown of this potential breakdown of this pattern, that'd be a 60% pump and a quick and swift swing trade. But right now, I'd be concerned that the price over the next few days to weeks, as we're watching out, we'll see how it plays out, is going to come down there. Because I think it's going to fail support right here when it comes and tests it in a few days, right? And we're going to finish out with this coin update on Nord. And you can see we've had a phenomenal pump the last few days. 
and it's hitting major overhead resistance right now. Get off that. What's it doing? It's hitting major overhead resistance right now. As you can see, we hit this blue ring last time and it got rejected at $7.63. And we're going to make this blue ring a little bit bigger right now because it's holding significance in the overall price in the immediate short term, right? That's not what we want. Come on. Hit that. We're going to make this blue ring very bright right now. And then we're going to we're going to make the ring bigger, right? Because it's holding big significance. There we go. Now it stands out. And you can see we bottomed out here on a nice flush on this major green support box, the top of it. And that's the volume traded, the volume indicator profile where the major traded is. If you're above it and you bounce off, you're bullish. And if you break below the 200 day moving average in green in the four hour time frame and get to the southern end of this support zone and below it, you're very bearish, right? And now we've pumped. Um, what I believe is just a fabulous, glowing, all jabroni enticing double top right here with our industry exclusive drawing tool. I believe you're just double topping off of a nice bounce back where the buyers would be to this major overhead resistance on the screen ring. And I think it's just a beautiful, glowing, gorgeous, stunning, jabroni enticing uh, double top. And you're going to get fleeced, heisted, and chisted as you're noticing an up and sideways consolidation with crashing volume. Often you notice a rounding top and big wicks right here. Take note of when you get big wicks here in the three hour time frame. Heavy sell pressure. Heavy sell pressure because your volume's decreasing. You're running into overhead uh, resistance at this blue ring again. And I believe you're going to flush down initially here, which forms like a double top or a M. And that would have a neckline there. And then you would take from the top to the neckline on this double top to the point of the breakout at the neckline. And then you'd get a targeted move, which because the price is so different there, it's so much crazier. So we have to do it this way, where you would take a percentile move down, which would be a 45% flush, right? And a 45% flush from there would probably bring us right down beautifully to the bottom part of the major volume profile traded area. And that's where I think you're going to come down. And I have two underneath targets. On, as I believe you're being rejected by major overhead resistance and I'm very bearish on this coin right now to come down as your first target to come down to three dollars and uh, 83 cents and then if you can't hold that and get some buyers you're coming down to the bottom part of this and our targeted move at one dollar and 92 cents I believe you're topping out here could I be wrong yes absolutely but do I think I'm right yes I think you're topping out there as we zoom on in as we work our way out of this update you can see the volume is depressed you hit that upper target beautifully. Uh, you hit the upper blue ring again beautifully for a jabroni enticing double top, right? And all jabroni enticing double top. And as soon as you hit that blue ring, you got rejected just like you did back here a few days ago, right? I don't want to go that far back. But you hit it again and got rejected. A fabulous double top. And I think now you're going to start to trade down to your first initial target um, on your way down, which is the top of the screen support box at three dollars and 81 cents and if you get rejected and slip below this 200 day moving average that's a 38 percent fall from where you're at now like subscribe and share to vincenzo's go crypto investing peace and love peace and love